Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today I've got a very simple and quick tip for you Mac users. If you use a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or use a Mac trackpad, then this video is for you. Let's get started. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a feature built in the Mac trackpad here. And this should be really useful for people who are starting out with Mac computers or for people that have switched over from Windows to a Mac. And it's going to be addressing the issue with the clickable trackpad. So you have to click down to open applications. So if I wanted to open up Chrome, I couldn't just tap, I'd have to click down to open it. Same thing with links, I have to click down, I can't just tap to open it. So what you need to do to get the tappable trackpad feature is first find and go into your system preferences and then you want to find the trackpad section here and click on that now the first setting in the point and click feature here says tap to click now we'll select that which will enable the tapping feature also within this section here the trackpad feature there's a ton of different gestures and features that you can use with your trackpad now I will link you in the description down below or on screen right here you'll see a video if you click on that it'll take you to the full tutorial on all the different scrolling and gesture features features you can use with your Mac or MacBook Pro trackpad. Anyway, we'll go ahead and close that once you've selected tap to click. You can go into your application simply by tapping. You no longer have to click down, so we'll go ahead and tap on Chrome. And you'll see it opens up Chrome. We'll tap on a link. It'll open up the link. Now I've got no internet connection because my power's out here, but you can see that it is working with the tap feature. You still can click if you want, it'll still open it, but tapping is now set up. So if you prefer tapping, that's how you do it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more tech videos on the MacBook Pro, the PlayStation 4, and the new iPhone. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.